we're back at Disneyland. Land at Disneyland. Originally conceived as true life adventure land after Disney's nature documentaries in Asia and Africa, it quickly became a mix of all things exotic in the minds of 1950s America. Honey, come look at the jungle stuff. What it lacks in size, it makes up for in adventure. Many of Disney's greatest attractions are here. They've got Indiana Jones and the Temple of the Forbidden Eye, the Jungle Cruise, the Swiss Family, I mean Tarzan's Treehouse, and of course the first audio animatronic show in the entire world. Walt Disney's Enchanted Tiki Room. Today we're here to look at some weird and often unnoticed features of Adventureland. First up is something I hardly even notice anymore, but some guests find very bizarre. Space is at a premium in Disneyland, and a lot of people don't realize just how close Adventureland backs up onto Main Street. So close, in fact, that the Tiki Room and the Jolly Holiday Restaurant actually share part of the same building. Just look at that transition. It's so well done, almost no one ever knows is it. But once you see it, it's pretty weird. Here's another strange thing. At the base of Tarzan's treehouse, some hidden Mickey seekers have noticed that this pattern looks a little bit like Jabba the Hutt? I'm almost 100% sure that's not intentional. But once you see it, it's hard to unsee it. Dang it! All I can see is Jabba now! Bata one interesting Easter egg in Adventureland that many people miss is right here on the roof of the Tropical Import Shop. This little fella right here is one of the original Tiki Room drummers that was replaced in a modern refurbishment. The extended queue for the Jungle Cruise actually ends up up there, so when the park is crowded, you can literally reach out and touch a piece of Disneyland history. It's pretty awesome that instead of going to an auction house or a garbage bin, Disney decided to put them where guests could get up close and personal with them. Tiki Man, drum up new friends. Across the street and up this little staircase is another slice of Disneyland history. Tattooing and banjo lessons. This window pays tribute to Disney artist and legend Harper Goff, who in addition to playing a mean banjo, also fought tooth and nail to try to convince Walt Disney to include a real life tattoo parlor on Main Street when the park opened. Oh heck yeah man, I'm gonna give me some Mickey ears and a deck gum dragon on my neck. Now of course Walt thought he was crazy, but sadly for me there's never been an actual tattoo parlor in the parks, but it did result in this pretty weird piece of Disneyland theming. Last but not least is a little secret about these guys, the Tiki Totems in front of the Tiki Room. Most of these were designed and sculpted by Disney Imagineer Rolly Crump. While carving the originals out of clay, Rolly came up with a pretty weird but pretty effective solution for how to give these characters a more realistic wood texture. Turns out that to make these little grooves and lines, Rolly needed to look no further than the Disney Studio Cafeteria where he found a couple of plastic forks and went to town on these guys. Wow, fork lines. Weird. Thank you for joining me on this look at some of the weird things in Adventureland. Make sure to subscribe to this channel and check out our other videos for some more weird things in other lands, some other Disneyland history, and I'll see you guys in Random Land. Bye bye! Tiki Tyler, slightly less stoked. Still stoked. Tiki Stokes. What? Tiki Stokes. What's a tiki, what's a tiki Stokes? It's like a fire thing, but it's made out of Papua New Guinea wood. For tiki. It's like one of those sticks that you serve your drink with. That's what you're saying? With like a glowing ice cube, maybe? No, back then, you know, you didn't have a regular stick for drink mixing. You had to do it out of a tiki totem, you know. It's the original tiki syrup for the drinks, and that's how you keep it authentic. There's a whole land of adventure. A whole land of adventure, Vader! Uh, adventure! You betcha! Uh, 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 I'm waiting for the gorillas to come by! They owe me money! Uh, that's scary! Adventure! Excitement! Well, Jedi trips not those things. But I do! Ah! Am I a Sith? Sith or Sith not, there is no trip. Now, Boris, uh, he missed one something. This is special. Uh, double ring belly button. Uh, makes him happy. Uh, 
Some don't have. Hey, this one, she's always so angry. Why is that? Look, you see, she's got the bunny rabbit climbing up the tummy and the sharp claws in the tummy. It's a special kind of bunny rabbit. A bunny rabbit with one ear. Huh? Mysterious. I think that's why it makes the bunny rabbit so upset. So there you have it. That fire? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it gets hot. Fire? It gets hot. That's true. And then you have a marshmallow rose and everybody's happy. Go. Did I look sexy? Did I look sexy? Define sexy. Not as ugly as I normally look. On a scale of one to me, one being you and ten being me, you were like five, maybe a six. I was like 50% sexy. Yeah. You can't, I mean. I still have trouble figuring out the difference between sexy and sexist. Oh. I feel like one day I'm gonna get there. If you could be a sexy sexist, that's still probably not good. I don't think that's possible. In it's like 15. Jack Nicholson. Sexy sexist.